Hey you guys, this is Brian here from My Great iPhone, and today I wanted to share with you guys uh, this tweet that came out in City a while back. Uh, unfortunately, I was sort of out of the loop for a couple weeks, had finals, um, but I'm done now. It's my summer, so you'll be seeing me a lot and other things. So uh, this tweet is called Slide Away, and it's uh, available in City, I think, for uh, 199 I think, uh, something like that. Uh, well worth it, whatever the price is. Here's how this tweet works. Um, in this option over here, you get uh, one icon and another icon, so left and right. And these icons open up directly. So here's an example. If I hit phone, it's immediately going to open to the phone. Uh, same thing if I hit camera, it would immediately open to the camera, and it bypasses, uh, you know, la unlocking the phone. It will not bypass your lock, uh, lock code, however. So make sure that, you know, if you're using something like that, um, that you're going to be okay with using this tweak. Additionally, if you slide up with this, you can put five icons down here at the bottom, and you get this brightness bar, which I don't know if you can see in the recording. Uh, this is customizable. You can have as many as um, three, five, and you choose them throughout your phone. So let's get into that, and we'll show you how that works. So when you unlock the phone, all you have to do is slide down. And uh, this tweak installs um, something into settings as well. So when we get into that, uh, you're chosen with this. Now you can uh, enable it or disable it from here, which is great. Which is another great reason why you should buy this because buy it now. You never have to uninstall it. You can just disable it from right here. It's not like it's, you know, oh I don't like that tweak, so I'm just gonna uninstall it. Um, you can also turn into compact mode, which I'll show you in a second. You can change your theme, and a lot of developers out there for themes have been creating themes for this. Uh, you can change the way that there's notifications. You can choose what you want to pop up. And uh, this is where it's really important. This is where you choose your icons to be in that dock. Now, if you want your dock on your phone, you're going to choose real dock. If you want a custom dock, make sure you click custom dock. And then come down here to apps and dock, set the number that you want, and then choose your app. So, you know, you go first icon, okay, I want this one. Second icon, I want this one. And it goes from left to right. Um, and then finally, you can choose the two um, things that you want on that bar that you saw. So if you remember on the left I had phone, on the right I had camera. All I have to do is just click on them and it opens right away. So I chose phone for the left and camera for the right, but you can certainly choose what you want. And then finally is the animation. Uh, this is kind of pointless actually because you don't really want it to be slower than it already is, so you might as well have it at a good speed. And that does it for the settings. Now here's a couple quick things with this. Um, this was recently updated. And I don't know if it fixed this bug that was sort of coming around. I can never really force it, so I don't know how to show it to you. Um, in any event that this bar like disappears at random, all you've got to do is just reboot your phone. Um, if you're on a tethered jailbreak, that'd be a problem, but maybe. Um, don't respring. It won't work. I mean, your phone will just come back up, but you still won't be able to unlock it. And uh, unless you have some other way to have an activator to unlock it for so in any event that it just crashes, don't panic, reboot your phone, you'll be fine. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you was about that compact mode. Um, basically what that does is this. You see this bar right here. Compact mode moves it like right down to the bottom of the phone right here. And all you need to unlock it is double tap. And uh, you just slide up if you want the rest of those icons. Uh, it also, however, takes away the notifications, which it's up to you. Here's a couple reasons why I didn't like compact mode. Um, with push notifications, that's really email, what it is for me. So I can look at this and go, okay, I have one email. Now, as you can see down here on my mail icon, it's right here. It doesn't tell me that. Just, that's just how it's programmed. So icon or um, notifications don't come up on these, but I, therefore I know I have an email. It also doesn't show me that I have a, a phone call that I missed as well. So, I mean, that's up to you. Um, you would You would know with this if you don't didn't have the notifications which I think just defeats the purpose. I wanna look I want I wanna unlock my phone and go, what did I miss? Nothing. Okay, and then lock it. Or go, oh, I missed a phone call. Let me hit the phone icon. Or oh I missed an email or a text or something. Let me flip it up real quick. Like it's just that much easier. Um so that does it for this. It's a great tweak. Uh definitely worth it. Um so check it out in Cydia, and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.